Welcome to Hand Tool Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the Baco 808050S-22 22-piece ratcheting stubby screwdriver set. So opening it up, we can see that there's a foam here. And we can see that there's a bunch of bits, a few extensions, and there's the ratcheting handle as well. Everything here is made in Taiwan. Bits, extensions, ratcheting screwdriver. Case is very nice as well. One unique feature that I like about this case is you can simply set it down like this. If I push down on it here, it doesn't go anywhere. It holds it nicely because it has sort of a cantilever design. I do believe the material it's made of is ABS plastic. Yep, on the back it says ABS plastic. So the case itself is made of ABS plastic. To open up this case, all you have to do is there's a latch. You just simply push up on it and it opens like that. So let's take a look and see everything comes with. Comes with a one four inch hex to square adapter, POSI one, POSI two, Phillips one, Phillips two, Phillips three, slot of one four inch, slot of four, slot of five millimeter, slot of 5.5, slot of 6.5, T10, T15, T20, T25, T27, T30, T40. They're not security torques. I take out one of these slotted bits so you can see the profile. They're hollow ground, so they're not tapered. They're hollow ground, so it should reduce cam out and should fit better in certain fasteners. Something I want to show is the bits themselves are held in a very nice bit compartment. Very easy to take out bits. Put them back in, even though it seems to be sort of a harder plastic, it's very easy to take out bits and put them back in. A lot of bit compartments I've noticed or bit holders have it's just a hard plastic, very difficult to take out bits and put them back in. So here it's very simple and it looks like they just have some kind of clips just holding the bits securely. So if I was to go like this, the bits will not shake out. And if I was to shake this, nothing will come out. The only thing is the ratcheting screwdriver handle. It's held in here somewhat loosely so if I did shake it the ratcheting screwdriver handle does fall out. Everything else stays in there. So as I mentioned part number on this is 808050S. This is the interchangeable. They have a version where it's not interchangeable with just a fixed blade ratcheting stubby screwdriver. It's done to their multi-component handle as well. So there's rubber over mold then there's a texture rubber over mold and then there's a plastic part as well such as this part, this gray part, and these other gray parts. When you grip it, you're gripping mostly the rubber overmold and some parts of the textured rubber overmold and maybe some parts of the gray plastic. Has a directional switch as well for left, right, and neutral as well, or just simply to have it fixed. Comes with an extension. This is a flexible extension you can use with sockets or anything else. As I mentioned, it's interchangeable on the stubby screwdriver, so all you have to do is put it in here. You might have to angle it in such a way that it locks in. So if you just put it in like this, it may not lock in. So you can twist it and then it will fall in. You'll hear a sound that indicates it's ready to be locked. And then just simply push it in. And then it's locked into place. You can use as a flexible extension, you can put sockets or anything on top. Just as an example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, this is a spring clip that holds it. This is a square to hex adapter. So with this flexible extension, what I can do is I can take this square to hex adapter, adapt it, and then I can take a bit, say like Phillips 3, and push it in, and I can use it now as a flexible screwdriver extension. The ratcheting screwdriver itself is 48 tooth as well. It's made in Taiwan. And just to show you the sound the ratcheting screwdriver makes. And something you might have also noticed is that when you actually put it to right, it goes right. When you put it to left, it goes left. So when you're using this extension, for example, and just go like this, or you can just have it in certain areas just that are hard to reach, and you can just use that. It does hold it in via spring clip, so don't expect there to be a magnet here, so there's no magnetic force. And you can also use this Baco 1 4 inch 
square to hex adapter or any kind of other ratcheting screwdrivers or anything else. If you need to say adapt any kind of like a square spinner or anything like that to be able to accept bits. You might have noticed it's a bit difficult to take out some of these that don't have a finger cut out. So for example this one you have to really dig in with your finger and then just pull it out. Let's look at the magnetic extension comes with. There's a magnet in here. Not a very big magnet. It does seem to be smaller in size. And it locks in via ball detent the same way as the other one does for the extension. So you just simply slide it in. You'll hear sort of a click and then you just push it in. Now it's locked into place. Now you have a proper ratcheting stubby screwdriver. The magnet is decent. Let's test out magnetic force and see if it can pick up any screws. So here we have a bunch of screws. These are from a monitor base mount. Let's see if this Balco ratcheting stubby screwdriver can pick them up. So as we can see, the Balco ratcheting stubby screwdriver is does not have enough magnetic force to pick up even washers or even screws at all. Let's put a small screw and see if it can pick it up. Nope, can't even pick up a very small screw. That's very disappointing. A four millimeter bit holder can pick up the screw, but a ratcheting stubby screwdriver that uses a magnet can't. So either means the permanent magnet in here is not strong enough or it's not big enough to be able to magnetize the bit and the screw. So as I mentioned, this is 48 tooth. That means you get 7.5 rotations in total. And it's a fine tooth ratcheting stubby screwdriver. Let's go ahead and measure the handle diameter and let's see how thick this point is. So depending on how you're holding the, the stubby ratcheting screwdriver, you have a handle diameter of about 35.11 millimeters, 35.08 millimeters. And holding it another way, you have about 40.60 millimeters on the handle diameter. So the actual shaft on the bit holder itself is about 29.53 millimeters. The flexible extension is about 149 millimeters, 0.79. 149.80 millimeters, so about six inches or so. Pros, very good bit selection, very good uh, flexible extension, very good one four inch square to hex adapter. Con, this is a huge con for me, is that this stubby ratcheting screwdriver, when you use it with, with the extension it comes with for the bit holder, that's about 30 millimeters or so, it's not magnetic, it does not magnetize the bits. So I assume the magnet's not weak enough or it just doesn't transfer permanent magnet properties to the bit or the screw. So that's a huge con. I wouldn't recommend it for that purpose. So if you're looking to get this set, so if you're looking to pick up this set, just keep that in mind. I personally wouldn't recommend this set because Baco has another ratcheting screwdriver that has a fixed blade. And I assume that one can actually pick up screws on like this. I would have to test that to verify, but they have one with a fixed blade that should be a stronger magnet. So for the very reason it can't pick up screws, because of the magnetic extension, I don't recommend it. Pricing, you're looking at about maybe $40, $60, depending on where you get it from. You can shop around. If you don't mind that it can't pick up screws, then go ahead and pick up the set. It's a very good set. But the fact that it can't pick up screws with its magnetic bit holding extension, that's a very big disappointment as well, because that means I have to look for any kind of other square bit holders that fit this uh, ratcheting screwdriver, and that's a big con for me. So for, just for that reason alone, I wouldn't recommend this set. If you don't mind that, then go ahead and pick it up. So as mentioned, pricing about $40, $60. I mean, everything else is very high quality. It's just the fact you can't pick up screws with the magnet. That's a big con. Most of Baco's other ratcheting screwdrivers can do that. So if you found this video helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you.